As you all can see from the title, today's video is gonna have some science in it. We might just create the best fishing lure of all time. Let's get into it. Wow. All right, so there's few things in life I don't like, but one is wasting things. But it can just happen when you're fishing, whether it's wasting money at Cabela's, we're not gonna talk about that. Or, you know, you go out bass fishing or fishing for anything really, use a soft plastic lure. That soft plastic lure could just get bit by a bunch of stuff and it just kind of starts like getting pieces chewed off and not being usable, right? So a lot of fishermen, your soft plastic gets messed up, you just kind of chuck it to the side, you throw it away, right? Today, we're going to be trying to revitalize, rejuvenate some of our soft plastics that we've used in the past and uh, try to create some new lures out of them and then we're gonna take that to the water and try to catch some fish. Now, I don't really know how to do this. I was on uh, YouTube trying to figure out how to make lures. I ordered some stuff off the internet. Let me show you real quick. By the way, this is not going to be the way that they said how to do it, but I think this is a way to do it. So I got this thing right here. This is like our mold. It's a very interesting material. I don't know where they mined this. That's what it looks like on the outside. And that is the inside and it just kind of fits together and Boom. That is a worm. I think it said it's supposed to be like kind of like a yum dinger or a Senko type thing. Uh, yeah. Here's the plan, right? We are going to melt down some of our old soft plastics. I'll show you guys how to do that because a lot of people use a microwave, uh, but I don't have another microwave. I'm not going to use the one we eat out of. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we have to melt down our previously used soft plastics, put this together, and uh, you see that little hole. With this tool, we are going to infiltrate this hole. So we like suck up. Oh, geez. We suck up the stuff with this and then we kind of put it in the hole like that and boom. Let's see if this works though. And if you write the title, we are going to be doing something that's kind of interesting. A little science class experimentation. We're going to be using this little dude. It's green and it's got some black in it and I'm colorblind, but I'm pretty sure it's freaking green. We just got a bunch of green, like pumpkin-y kind of stuff to put all in there. This is just like an ordinary can, corn, beans, whatever you got. So I saw, right, if you put a uh, some kind of lead in with this, the lead will help heat up and you can stir this around more. I don't know. Basically the goal, I said, to melt this all down. So uh, we're gonna be using a grill. Grill started with that right there. Hopefully this is gonna work. Actually, I need something to stir that with. Got a stick. By the way, I'll probably try not to breathe this in. Oh my gosh, all right. It has been like forever later, but I'll give you guys a peek right there. It's melting. Now, I mean, for a couple different reasons, it's taken long. One, it's because I'm not closing the thing on the grill because I think that that's probably not good because I just, just plastic and stuff. I think it's just about done though. We're gonna give this a few more minutes and then look, look at this, this is what we got set up right here. This is where we're gonna be pouring it. I put it uh, in between some wood. All right, now here's the cool part. So you can really make any lore, any color, you know, any sparkle you want. Today, I thought it'd be interesting, man. We were to make a real life 24 karat gold leaf lore. I know gold melts at some certain temperatures. I open this. By the way, if you guys haven't seen the last video, we were at a creek, we did a catch and cook, and uh, we used some gold flake. We literally wrapped it in it. It was a golden fish. 24 karat gold. Oh, oh geez. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna take these, and we're gonna put it in our concoction over here. Maybe the fish, you know, they have a more expensive taste. I mean, we've seen black flake, red flake, look at that. Is it going to just melt in it? Um, possibly. Oh, it's freaking ready, man. I want y'all to remember, man, this stuff is like, Super hot, so like don't, you know. All right, so I'm coming over, putting this in here. Oh geez, that sounds scared me. All right, real quick. Am I on it? Oh geez, am I doing this right? What the frick? What? Okay, first try, Um, I don't know if that actually, I don't know if it works. We've got some spillage here on both sides. Dude, I really hope this works. I also uh, rubber banded it. People use like clamps and stuff. I don't have that very professional lore maker over here. Come on, did it work? Oh my gosh, hold on. <gasps> Get out of there. No, Ay. what went wrong? We were so close. It looks good except for right there. It's missing a big chunk. All right, first ever lore. I guess we could just peel this crap off. Um. We'll add it to the collection here today. Yeah, that's a, it's a worm. Oh God, did I break it? So this was all stuck in the, holy, I'm trying, all right. We're gonna see how this one comes out. Uh, all this leftover stuff though that we just picked off, like that, we're just gonna throw that all right back in. The cool thing about it too, I guess really, if you make something that you really don't like, you can just throw it back in the stuff, right? Are you ready? Not bad. It feels a little like almost hollow. 
Am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Can we see the gold in them? Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually really cool. Can you don't see that? Little gold flakes in it, dude. Yeah, we're gonna make a few more of these. It feels so freaking nice. I'm wearing shorts, dude. So we're gonna head over to the water. Beautiful freaking day, and see what we can do. Hey, did I mention that it's like the absolutely most beautiful, beautiful day here in Delaware? I, I'm wearing, I'm wearing shorts. It's 55 degrees. Feels like freaking summer compared to what it's been. I was not gonna stop over here. Uh, we were gonna go to a different pond, but there's some ponds over here, and then also over here. Look at this, this is a brand new path. So you guys have seen me fish at, at the spillway a good amount of time, but look at this. They built a freaking bridge. Oh, there's people working on it. But yeah, there's the bridge. Oh, the good luck bridge. I can't cross it yet, but it looks like a nice bridge. So, this is the lure that we made earlier. Still gotta pick off a little piece of the plant. Here, this one's actually, look at this one. This one's a little bit better. Here is a Sanka, arguably my favorite worms out there. I don't have any dingers. Give you guys a little look right there. This one is definitely way smaller. I think this is five inch. This is supposed to be four inch is what I ordered, but I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, I guess that's four. Basically, we're gonna go over to this pond over here. We're gonna try to catch a freaking fish on one of these lures that I made. It's, a, it's gonna feel like really cool. I created this. Dusty is an understatement. This used to be like my best pond ever, one of my favorite ponds to fish years and years and years ago. The pond got overfished to the max and then I think people kept ke like keeping the fish when it says don't keep the fish. Something just happened here and this is not the best pond. So you might be asking like, why the heck are you gonna go fish it then? I don't know. For the memories, man. What? Okay, so this was prevalent in like the, oh, there's a bunch of ducks out here. There was always this gunk on it, like during summertime when it was super hot and all this bacteria would create this stuff, but it's never been like that in the winter. What the heck? So what we're gonna do here is work up. First, we gotta find the fish. Then we're going to use our secret bait. So I would be throwing something like, you know, like a Ned rig, just something very finessey, but we are using something I really never use. It's a shaky head and we have the Sanko on there. So we'll try this out. Don't know how this is gonna work. Let's take a look at this water. Super freaking clear. One has been like super cold and then we have a warm day. From my experience, this is a pretty good day to go bass fishing. They really are not about that eating life. And then once it starts to warm up a little bit, it kind of triggers them to be like, oh, you know what, I, I, I could eat that 24 karat gold worm. <laughs> I literally never throw this. If you guys have any shaky head tests for me, please. How's it going? All right. Hi, buddy. That's a big dog. <laughs> He's a puppy. He's nine months. Oh, really? Yeah. Holy crap. It was worth the shot. If you're wondering, it's always worth the shot. All right, so it is the next day. It's colder outside for sure. Uh, that lower blood did not last very long. I came over to a spot though that I used to fish years ago and then they were like, oh, y'all can't fish here anymore. You're getting tickets and towed. I haven't been here in like years. So I came back and I was like, can I fish here now? And uh, yeah, no. It's a struggle sometimes, dude. We're gonna make it happen. Uh, let's just pick somewhere. Let's just send it. All right, here's another pond I found on Google Maps. Does it have fish what do you think oh someone's shooting something hmm might be worth a shot Loki, you feel like they're shooting at me this is uh, like honestly that's like kind of a telltale sign if ponds are fished if you guys like ever go to them and you don't are not sure there's footsteps right there and this is only if you live in delaware if you're in florida that could be a freaking gator trail or something right there it looks like another one let's take a look what is this? The secret pipe. All right, all right, all right. So this is the same neighborhood, but this is a different pond. This is like literally Goose City over here. There's hundreds of freaking geese. But I did see, I saw stuff swimming. Wow, 
All right, pond number 3,217. We ain't giving up, man. Here's like a closer look. I, I doubt you'll be able to see from the GoPro shot, but there's some sparkles in there, man. We're gonna toss around actually this little dude right here. This is a uh, winter bunker hideout for the fish when it gets cold. They all sip hot chocolate in this. I got fish on there? Oh, what? Dude, something had that, I think. What the heck? Tighten that up. Okay, not that much. Okay, so it is another day. We are at a uh, different spot here. <laughs> Yet again! Hi, yay! We're throwing the bait that we made. I'm gonna catch a freaking fish on this dude. We literally just had something bite us. I don't know how big that was though. I think it just had the tip. Come on man, 24 carat in this thing. That was cool though. That was, I, that was the first bite. I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure that was a bite. I'm actually uh, out here filming a different video. But I figured I, I whipped this out. Like dude, we gotta finish this freaking video man. It is a warm day out here compared to, you know, it's been pretty chilly. It's windy. And uh, this is, this is going to be the day. I can feel it. There's a fish on there. There's a fish. There's a freaking fish on my bait. It's my fish on my bait. Come here. <laughs> oh, it's hard to tell. I got a bite with the wind. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Come here. <sighs> Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, he like choked it too. <sighs> oh gosh. Thank you so much, buddy. Let's get that out real quick. Look at that fish, man. Oh my goodness. Beautiful bass oh he's like strong too he's like fighting me i think he's kind of thick all right let's put him back in there thank you so much buddy swims right back ah let's go dude may not be the greatest lore we ever created but this is a start man 24 karat gold lore uh you can kind of see the sparkles especially right there we got a pretty big one uh maybe not on the gopro you probably can't see it but look this is uh yeah that, that's what it <laughs> That's what it looks like. Let me show you guys the action. I don't even know if I did that in this video or not. But with this little dude, I don't know if you can see that, but that looks good. A couple days into the making of this video. It would really mean a lot if you guys go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you're not already, make sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We are uh, struggling a little bit out here. But it's all good, man. We're taking an adventure soon. You guys are gonna see. It's gonna be so freaking sick. A uh, place I've never been to before, and just excited to get out of this tundra, man. Like, look at look at the sky. I don't know if you can tell. It's just gloomy and freezing cold, which is like most of the days. I fished on a lot of warm days in this video, though. Every now and then we have a warm day here. I want to pop up the comment winner from last video. If you guys want to enter to win, all you gotta do, man, drop a comment. You could be featured in the next video. Yeah, man. That's pretty much it here for this video today. It's cold. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next video.